posers. I want to talk about the most vulnerable Americans, guns. <laughs> Everywhere you look, enemies of the Second Amendment are making it harder for gun lovers to become gun owners. The freedom haters at Dick's Sporting Goods recently took a stand against the NRA and experienced a small rise in sales. Unbelievable. You know, I try not to think about Dick's, but sometimes I can't help it. It makes me confused, you know? I'm sure the left would love it if I just played footage of dicks all night, but there are other channels for that. See, I wanna focus on the people helping to keep us armed. So let's celebrate our country's bravest and loudest guardians of the guns. Yes. Our first guardian is Kansas gubernatorial candidate, Chris Kobach. He's a MAGA bumper sticker origamied into a swan that hates Mexicans. <laughs> now, you remember Kobach from his brave push to prove the president's claim that three to five million people voted illegally in the 2016 election. Now, just because the press will tell you Kobach did not prove his case on voter fraud does not mean this hard right hero is done poking libs. Kobach is now under fire for being, I, I can't believe I'm saying this, too patriotic at a parade. Kansas Secretary of State Chris Kolbach firing back at a, quote, snowflake meltdown after many on the left cry foul over his American flag Jeep mounted with a fake gun. Tell me about this parade and why you rode in the Jeep with the gun on the side. Yes. Love that question. <laughs> but to clarify, Kobach's gun was on the top. The side gun is for picnics. This was a parade. For most people, that is the perfect parade vehicle. In fact, the, the audience reaction was overwhelmingly positive. I've been in dozens of parades, never had so much positive reaction from the audience. <laughs> so much positive reaction. It's amazing how much people love you when you hold them at gunpoint. <laughs> One thrilled spectator noted that the very real looking gun with visible ammunition rounds hanging from it was pointed at the crowd, and that he was there with his six-year-old daughter who worries constantly about school shootings and endures intruder training at school in fear. Yeah, Chris, sounds like they loved it. <laughs> and who cares if you scare a six-year-old? She can't vote. And by the time she can, you can just purge her from the rolls. So Chris Kobach, welcome to the Guardians of the Gun. Now, once again, the left is picking on Florida, just because when you give America a good shake, it's where all the weird stuff ends up. <laughs> this time, they're going after Florida Agricultural Commissioner and Republican gubernatorial hopeful, Adam Putnam. This beautiful, vitamin-deficient Ron Weasley <laughs> has had a target on his back ever since he tweeted, I'm a proud NRA sellout. Of course, the libs were pissed he sold out. They hate it when anyone makes money. <laughs> and now the media is coming after Putnam for this overblown nothing pancake. An investigation in Florida found that the state failed to review concealed weapons background checks for a year because an employee couldn't log into the database. <laughs> Login problems? How many times do I have to tell you guys the password is bang bang 69? Write it down. <laughs> Like any good leader, Putnam was quick to place the blame on a deceitful and negligent employee, an issue I grapple with myself all the time, Lorraine. <laughs> the disgraced employee who went directly from working in the mailroom to overseeing the use of the National Instant Criminal Background Check System added, I didn't understand why I was put in charge of it. <laughs> I've heard that one before, Lorraine. <laughs> So thank you, Adam Putnam. You are a steadfast guardian of the gun. Now look, I know that gun violence is a problem in America, especially in our schools. And I'm devoted to finding a way to solve this problem. But while the crazy left is chasing after pipe dream solutions like fewer guns, <laughs> realists like me and defense specialist Allison Berry at Fox News are focused on more reality-based solutions. Here's the scenario. We've got children barricaded into classrooms. What if we were able to just roll up this cannon, punch holes, escape holes, man-sized escape holes into those walls safely so that the children aren't hurt by that blast and let the children escape directly out of the classrooms? Finally, someone's talking sense! <laughs> uh, 
Oh. Next time there's an active shooter incident, all we have to do is light up this cannon and methodically blow holes in every exterior classroom wall in the building. This is exactly the kind of more gun solution I was waiting for. And I gotta be honest, it sounds like a lot of fun. Now I know it sounds like a lot of fun. It gets better. What does it use for ammo? It has unique ammo. It uses water bottles as powerful missiles. Once loaded into this cannon, they can punch through walls, two layer walls, brick walls, rip through metal, rip through vehicles, just using water bottles as ammunition. Weaponizing water. It's what Jesus would do if he wasn't such a pussy. <laughs> this, this is the kind of thinking we need in America. What about cannons in every classroom designed to launch kids through the roof at the first sign of danger? <laughs> what about an entire school that is a cannon? That's how we take education to new heights. So water cannon, welcome to the guardians of the gun. Now, stay locked and loaded, opposers. And remember, it's Bang Bang 69. Also, Lorraine, you're fired. The fight continues. Good. You hid down here where the real truth lies. If you want to help me defeat the globalists and stay on the inside, click and subscribe and help me defeat them. Because following me on my YouTube channel makes you a leader. It tracks. Trust me.